Hello and welcome to Savannah Alalea TV where you learn to listen to your intuition and create a life that you truly love. There are no gurus here because you are your own guru. I'm simply here to remind you to pay attention to the guru inside of yourself. Unsure if you have a guru inside you? Trust me, you do, because we all do. And when you learn to listen to that guru, that's when the magic happens in your life. So today we're gonna to talk about intuition versus sensing. And I'd like you to picture the enchanting poem by Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken, in which the poet uses a brilliant metaphor where two roads diverge in a yellow wood to encourage you to take the path less traveled in life. Taking the path less traveled is a brave and bold move that as Robert Frost tells you, can make all the difference. It's moments like this, I think, that take you beyond the physical senses into the realm of intuition. Intuition is your internal GPS guiding you through life, whilst your sensory perception brings the world to life in vivid technicolor. As a child, you learn about the five basic senses. As an adult, you probably are aware of a few more, after all, sensing in all of its forms is the key to experiencing life at its fullest. Your body is this extraordinary vessel with a powerhouse of subconscious mind that processes heaps of info, analyzes it and sends signals to your conscious brain. It blows my mind every time I think about it. You can sense when someone is watching you. You can feel the fabric of your clothes against your skin. You can know where every body part is in any given moment and even predict a storm from the change in air pressure. It's wild, right? Your senses become even more complex the more thought you give them. You can naturally use a variation in sound volume to determine the direction and distance of something. Like being able to hear a car coming from around a blind corner on a country lane you're walking down. Similarly, you can tell how far away something is by using what is called your depth perception. So if something is burning, you can smell it from miles away. You can even look at someone and read their body language and make interpretations about their emotional state. The list is endless and you do this constantly and mostly unconsciously. It's really intriguing, right? Keeping your body's communication channels in tip top shape is crucial for your sensory perception. Here's a magic fact. Your hypothalamus interprets signals from your peripheral nervous system. Therefore, a balanced nervous system equals optimal sensing capabilities. Have you ever heard a long forgotten song on a radio and suddenly recalled all the lyrics or caught a whiff of a scent that instantly transported you to a distant summer holiday? There's your subconscious mind using hidden memories to shape how you respond to situations. It's like Jamal from Slumdog Millionaire, whose life experience provides him with the answers he needs to win the show, a beautiful representation of the power of intuition. So if your subconscious is doing all the work, What's the fuss about intuition versus sensing? Well, embracing your natural strengths and understanding your go-to decision-making style can lead to a greater self-awareness and your growth as a person. By recognizing whether you lean more towards intuition or sensing, you can better harness your innate ability to approach life's hurdles with confidence. Balancing intuition and physical sensation is a delicate dance. If you tip the scale too much towards physical sensations and neglect intuition, you may miss out on the profound wisdom of your inner voice. Sometimes we think we're following our intuition, but it could be our body reacting to stress, hunger, or even unprocessed emotions. That's why it's vital to pause, take a breath and check in. Is it intuition or is it a physical reaction driving your decision? It's essential to tune in and become more aware of the subtle cues your body provides, as they can offer valuable insights into your well-being and decision-making process. Practices like mindfulness and truth-based journaling and reflective thinking can help you develop this balance, enabling you to make more informed decisions and live a more fulfilling life. We all want that, right? When you focus solely on physical sensations and disregard your intuitive senses, you might miss out on the valuable insights that could guide you to making better decisions. Intuition often serves as a shortcut for problem solving, drawing from your subconscious knowledge and past experiences to help you navigate complex situations quickly and efficiently. 
By overlooking your intuition, you might become overly reliant on logic and tangible information, which can lead to indecision, analysis paralysis, or taking longer to reach decisions or conclusions. It's like ignoring your GPS and relying solely on the road signs. Learning to feel the difference between intuition and your body's messages equips you for making well-rounded decisions. By cultivating a deeper awareness of your physical and emotional state, you'll be able to tap into your intuition more effectively whilst also addressing your body's needs. Striking the right balance between these two sources of information can empower you to face life's hurdles with greater confidence and clarity. It's like being the conductor of an orchestra with your intuition and your sensory input playing in perfect harmony. Intuition is more than just a decision-making process. It is a creativity cocktail too. By trusting your intuitive sense, you can uncover fresh ideas, create connections and explore possibilities that might be unavailable through sensory input alone. Ignoring intuition can limit your creative potential, making it more challenging to think outside the box and develop novel solutions. Buckle up, because in upcoming episodes, we are going to plunge even deeper into the labyrinth of our senses and discover how to cultivate them better. Remember, trust your instincts, follow your intuition, because the world needs your voice and the magic it brings to us all. After all, the road less travelled might just be one that your intuition is nudging you towards. Jump on my mailing list to stay reminded and connected with your intuition and some special things I only share in email. I look forward to chatting with you next time on Savannah Alalea TV. Take care and talk soon. Know where everybody, know where every body part is in a given moment. Oh. This has become even more complex at... Now oh, that is the builder outside. There's... <clears throat> Why? <clears throat> Well, experience is to help you navigate complex and sorry, it's intuition or sensing lean. Sorry, yeah, I was going say. Some stuff it doesn't matter, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. some stuff it does. Yeah. <laughs>